Hey everybody. This is the 40 breeder that I call my waterfall tank. Uh, for fairly obvious reasons, I have a waterfall flowing into it, a lot of vegetation and plants and everything. So I recently put a bunch of guppies in this tank from a tank that I've got sitting down here in my fish room and it's just a completely neglected tank. It just sits there and I never do water changes on it or anything. Uh, I just kind of top it off once in a while when the water gets too low. So when I put all the guppies in this tank, they all started dying. And within a few days, I noticed that all the guppies in this tank were dead. And I've put some fish from my native tank in here and none of them have died yet, but they're definitely looking a little on the listless side. And even the crayfish that I have in here is looking a little sort of uh, sluggish and not really overly receptive. He's kind of hiding in the corner there. You can see one of his antennae sticking up uh, above the rock there, but that sort of dark area in the corner. He's just hanging out. He is still alive, but again, acting a little odd. So I got to scratching my head about what was going on and why these fish were dying in here. And I began by, you know, maybe thinking that I hadn't fully cycled the tank in yet. And so I checked for ammonia, I checked for nitrite, I had none of those. And so just out of curiosity, I checked for nitrate. And to my shock, I had none of those either. None of my tanks have zero nitrates but this tank has zero nitrates. And I suspect it's because it's a very lightly stocked tank so far. It's got lots and lots of vegetation that is drawing the nitrates and everything out of the water uh, as we just had a look. So that's gonna contribute to uh, the water being, you know, reduced of nitrates and any other organic compounds. So this is like the cleanest, purest tank I've got. And it got me to scratch in my head as to why these um, guppies all died so quickly. I mean, literally in a matter of two days, all but a small handful of them are dead. Uh, I probably put 20 or 30 of them in there. I, I just, again, I've got this tank that sits over here and I never do water changes on it. Uh, that's actually sort of topped off. I've got the water filled back up. It normally gets down two or three inches lower than that before I refill it. So today I decided that I was going to check the nitrates in this tank too because I have heard of a thing. I haven't heard about it in a long time, but I have heard of something called nitrate shock where if your fish are in really high nitrates and then they get put into a tank that's got really low nitrates in it, the sheer shock of that reduction in nitrates might be enough to kill them. So I went ahead and ran a couple of um, tests side by side. I tested this tank and I tested that little 10 gallon tank we were just looking at. So let's go have a look at the difference. All right, now I probably don't have to point out which one's which, but the real reason I wanted to show you this one is I've got red results in the past, and I know we're not getting a really good, uh, clear look at how bright red that is. I also have topped the tank off uh, before doing this, but that is really, really red. That's almost crimson red uh, here to my eyes compared to what I normally get when I do a nitrate test. I guess maybe I should have done a third test out of another one of my tanks that is, uh, I'll say neglected and usually has what I think of as high nitrates, but that is extremely high nitrates. So they went from that to that with no acclimation whatsoever. I dipped them out of one tank, turned around and dropped them into the other tank. So could that have been it? I don't know. Let's go back to the tank and we'll finish talking about it. All right, now I have always wondered whether or not the nitrate shock was a real thing or not. And I say that in terms of, is it the nitrates themselves and is it the nitrate shock in particular that is what is causing that problem where you get this sudden death of fish? Because nitrates also account for 
total dissolved solids. And total dissolved solids in the water affect how a fish osmoregulates. It's basically like taking a fish out of very hard water and putting a fish into very soft water. So I've always wondered whether it's not simply that. And I got out my dissolved solids meter today and I tested it. And this tank, or I'm sorry, I didn't even test this tank water. I tested my tap water. What was it, this tank's water? I can't even remember now. Um, either way, I had just done a water change. So my tap water, this tank water, it's all going to be more or less the same. And it was 128 parts per million. I tested this tank over here, and it was 432 parts per million. So we're looking at 300 parts per million drop in dissolved solids. Now, is that enough to affect the fish's osmoregulation, enough to shock its system? Possibly. It would explain why the guppies died and not the other fish so far because while the other fish probably came from high nitrates they didn't come from ridiculous nitrates like those guppies did the other thing to consider is the smaller the animal the more susceptible to sudden shocks like that whether it's a nitrate shock or it's just the osmotic shock of that sudden um, you know, we'll call it water hardness. It's, it's uh, temporary hardness, I would imagine. Although I don't know, honestly, if nitrates, I guess nitrates would be considered permanent hardness because you can't boil them out. But permanent hardness is not the same as water hardness as far as calcium and magnesium. It starts getting complicated when you start talking about um, dissolved solids and water hardness and all that kind of stuff, which is what always leads me to these questions. Is it the nitrates themselves? You know, we're always told that nitrates will kill the fish if they're living in high nitrates. But on the other hand, if your fish have sort of gotten used to living in high nitrates, we're also told that that shock of like taking them and putting them in really fresh, clean water all of a sudden, that in itself will kill them. So I've never personally experienced that until now. But from somebody that thinks about things from a more scientific point of view, all I saw was some anecdotal evidence. It's worth talking about, it's worth bringing up and mentioning, but it was still just anecdotal evidence. I put guppies in this tank and they all died. You know, could it be from the nitrate shock or that difference? It could be. Could it be from something else? It could be that too. I don't know for sure, but I think it's worth at least thinking about. The other thing that crossed my mind was whether or not all of that silicone rubber had fully cured and if it had not fully cured would any of the chemicals leaking out of that leach into the water uh, i really don't think that's the case but i really also didn't have anything else to go on until the idea of the nitrates crossed my mind because none of my tanks have no nitrates in them even my groundwater seldom has no nitrates in it uh, i live in a fairly farming rural area and this time of year as we're moving into the winter the groundwater has less and less nitrates in it but by springtime even with my water system that removes the nitrates i'll still have a fairly significant amount of nitrates you know maybe up to 10 parts per million in my groundwater so when i did a test today and i got zero nitrates in this tank and i've done several tests and gotten zero nitrates and that's after a day and a half of having animals and everything else in here. I'm still getting no buildup of nitrates. That in itself just sort of surprised me. It takes a lot of plants to really just pull all of the nitrates out of the water like this. So again, anecdotal, but worth thinking about. Was it that sudden drop in nitrates? You know, going from probably... I don't know, at least well over 100 parts per million. I don't, that thing is so far red off the charts. I'm going to assume at least we're talking about over 100 parts per million nitrates down to zero. So was it the nitrate shock that killed them or was it the osmotic shock that killed them? Or was it something else? You know, let me know what your thoughts are. 
Uh, I'd be curious to hear your opinion about that. But that's where we stand with this tank so far. I did add another fish. I haven't yet seen it on the video. If it did make an appearance and you noticed it, uh, good for you. You can make a little comment down below or something like that. But otherwise, make sure you're subscribed. That way you won't miss anything. And we will be doing some updates on this tank. And I will uh, clue you in as to what new fish we've added to it here in the very near future. So thanks again. Don't forget this is my waterfall tank. And I'll see you real soon in the next one.